Yeah, there it Hi, is. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Too Opinionated, where I spent like 20 minutes off camera talking with <laughs> actress Genevieve DeGraves. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get that right? Did I get your name right? Um, Technically, it's Genevieve. Oh, it's so uh, much prettier when you say it. Same name, Gen different language. Genevieve. Yeah. Genevieve is the, the like the English, but oh, yeah. um, I have to be fancy and have the French version. But I've I've gotten a lot. There, some people say Genevieve. There's also, I mean, if you're That's in, not bad either. There's no bad way to say it. No, there's no bad. It's just funny, like here in like Anglo countries yeah. or society, no one knows this name, but you go to like Quebec. And it's like the second most common female name, I'm pretty yeah, sure. It's, it's probably like Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Jim Vieff. Yeah. I like that a lot. Thanks. That's, that's, yeah, it's really pretty. That's really pretty. Do you do you go by that or do you have like a nickname? That, that um, I go by, stuff? like with my friends, I go by Viv. Oh. Um, which I don't know... Apparently, like one of my aunts, when I was a baby, started calling me Vivi, but I, like I don't know too. where she, like, I don't know where that came from, but it, like, it stuck. And so I'm Viv. Professionally, I go by Genevieve, but, um, but yeah. Like, yeah I would have guessed Jen. Yeah. I like Viv. I like I've gotten Viv. a lot of Jen. Or Vivi. Like, feel the same. You know, I don't feel connected to Jen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it could be it's because Viv is your name. Yeah, yeah. Although I do, I did have one boss once who started calling me Jen and I never corrected him. And so at that job, I was Jen. And sometimes he would call me Jenny and it was, it's like, that's not my name. Please. You were, you were younger, weren't you? So you hadn't built up the younger. courage to correcting. Yeah, I was younger. Um, I just didn't like, it was one of those things where like, I feel, I felt at the time that like, I missed the chance to correct him. And then I just never did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do that now. I've learned. I think your name, it sounds very um, like old time Hollywood. Mm. Right. Like if yeah. you were watching a, a Casablanca or something. Mm -hmm. Jim V. Yeah. yeah. That would yeah. fit right in. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't think I need a stage name unless I were to like change it to something like simpler, easier to pronounce. No, you don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. People can figure it out. No fancy. Fine. So, so I told you when we were talking off camera that thank goodness I didn't hit record because we went, we talked the weather <laughs> and we talked COVID Mm -hmm. We talked, what was the other one we talked about? There was another one. Protein shakes? Yes, protein shakes. Yeah. But here we are now, we're, we're, we're just talking names. <laughs> you might as well have just recorded from when we I might as well just hit record. Uh. <laughs> I bet, though, if yeah. I had, you, you haven't had that particular type of interview yet. What do you mean? Sorry. Well, you <laughs> haven't just had the, this a random interview about nothing. It's it's oh, it's, like, yeah. it's like our it's it's like I'm the I'm the Seinfeld version of a podcast. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great. Like I was saying, like I love I love podcasts for that. Yeah, it can be, it can be whatever you want. I agree. I love the I love the tangents that people get on to. Yeah. This is my first podcast. Really? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a long time so listener, honored. first time participator <laughs> i'm so honored and now there's so much pressure I, oh, it's hard to be, I mean. <laughs> but yeah it's but it's fun to like finally be be on that's right mm -hmm. that's right now the question is will you listen to yourself on the podcast i let uh yeah mm, Hmm. I'll say yes. I will eventually. I have a hard time sometimes, like even watching myself. Yeah, a lot of people do. Uh, I think. It just feels. I feel like it depends on depends on my mood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I it's it's it, it's hard to 
for me to watch something and not like nitpick. Yeah. Uh, because usually when you're watching something, it's like a year or longer, like has passed since you like recorded it uh, and shot it. Um, and I just, yeah, it, it's hard to watch it and be like, oh, like I wish I'd like tried this or. Yeah, because you can't change it at that point. Yeah. yeah. See, I, so, I listen to every, I don't watch all of them, but I listen to every mm -hmm. podcast because I'm very critical and I'm like, mm -hmm. it's sometimes painful to listen to, but I, I'm trying to yeah. trying to improve. So I try to try to listen yeah. and pick up areas where I could maybe have done a little, a little bit better. My son's the opposite. He refuses to watch or listen to any of them because he, 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 a little bit better now that he's not on camera, but mm -hmm. especially when he is on camera, he hated it. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do think that your, your like attitude towards it is probably right. Like, even if it's painful, <laughs> I think there yeah. is, like, there's always something to be learned. Um, good or bad. That's right. So, yeah. I, I, you can take something from, from watching or listening to whatever, even Although if admittedly, like, if it's a good, like if it's, if I feel like it's a good interview, yeah, that's, those are fun to listen to. Yeah. You know, I'm like, Hey, that was all right. It doesn't happen as much as I'd like, but most, you know, it's like, hey, I'm all right. Cause I'm kind of critical about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So first podcast, that's pretty exciting. So let's, let's start here. So talk a minute about how you got into entertainment. What made you want to become a, you know, an actress? Well, I kind of grew up around the industry. Um, yeah. My dad is a lighting designer for theater and dance. Oh, very nice. And, yeah. And my mom, she went back to school when I was little to go into education and she's a teacher now, but she, her first degrees in fine arts and she yeah. did a lot of uh, like set work, costume design, um, in, in, in theater as well. And also some, some TV shows, uh, Very nice. And so, uh, yeah, I kind of was just like always around it. I was definitely like a theater brat in that I'd like go like hang out in the theater while my dad was teching and like do my homework there. I like learned how to like turn some lights on and off. <laughs> I, I was recruited to like coil cables as a child. Nice. Um, but, uh, and then I was put in dance at a really young age. The, pro, the company that he has done a lot of work for has a school. And so I was put there. Um, and I was really a dancer like up until the end of high school. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. And I also, I mean, I, I would do like drama class and like, like camp and stuff. It was really fun. Loved it. But the dance really took up most of my like extracurricular time. Um, and I also did as I got into like junior high and high school, uh, I, I love to sing. So I did like every uh. choir I could, like, I think in high school at one point I was in like three or four choirs. At once. That's a lot of choirs. Um, yeah, but I like I love it, right? Uh, and it's also social as much as it is anything else. Yeah, like, that, like, like right. the dance and the the choirs. I and I did all of my high school musicals, and uh, and then at the end of high school, I quit dance. And that was probably hard. It was hard. I. Looking back on it now, I feel like it was like a little bit of an attention seeking thing. Like, <laughs> I, I think I probably wanted them to be like, no, like you're so amazing. We really need you to stay. And like they didn't, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, but it did free me up in a way that like I had I had like never had that much free time before. Yeah. So I was able to do because I was dancing like I think at the end, like probably almost every day. Um, so, so I was able to like do more, like focus more on theater stuff and just also like have more time to, I don't know, be in grade 12. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, but yeah, like my parents never like 
they're always very much like, like, if like you want to do this great, but like, we're not gonna like force you right anything they, which, you know, like is great. I kind of wish they'd been like, we want to like, like get you into auditions for stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, but, but they didn't, so that's fine. Um, and then I, when I finished high school, I didn't really, I was kind of at a point where I was like, I, I, I do really want to perform, but I also was like, I don't know if I want that to be my, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't ready to like, to really pursue that, I think at that point. And I, I was a little bit, a little lost as I think many like 17, 18 year olds are. And I kind of needed a little bit of time to come to it myself. I, I did a year. So, and also all of my high school friends are like, like really smart. Like, like most of them are like doctors now. <laughs> Um, and, and like pursuing like really amazing intellectual pursuits, yeah. which is amazing. But I also was like, you know, that's not me and that's fine. But like, what do I do instead? Um, so I, I went to university in Winnipeg for a couple of years, just part time. I think I ended up only being part time both years. And, and I took they have a pretty good theater program there. And I took some great courses. Uh, through them and like really enjoyed it and by the end of my first year there I had decided that I wanted to apply for conservatories yeah yeah um, but I had missed the deadline so instead of being like okay I'll like take some time off and like travel or work or like do something fun I was like okay I guess I'll do another year of university <laughs> um <laughs> just like so yeah, it kind kind of regret that, but it is what it is. Um, but but again, I was able to do some like good like theater courses, um, made some like good friends, and then I auditioned for two theater schools, got into one, and then moved to Toronto and did that. So I'm my theater training is like classical theater training. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, yeah. So I did. I did my three-year program here. Graduated. Got pretty lucky in terms of like finding my agent, like in school, and booking some work like pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So were you? Were Were you in when you were in dance? Were you like? Were you doing the competitions? I wasn't. And that was something that like at the time I was like, man, I wish that we would do that. But my school didn't do competitions. We were like a pre-professional training program. Yeah. Um, That's so really good. Like, yes, but also like, yes, good, because the foundation that it gives you is really solid. Um, but it didn't like, I feel like the competitions, like because I have friends who've done them, they like push you in a way. Right. But, like, I don't know if I necessarily got in that like program that I did because you're not That's competing. Right. That's right. Yeah. Those um, competitions are fun. It's long days. Yeah. Fun. I think, I think pros and cons, like in the end, like, I think that like, if I had a kid who I was putting in dance, I'd want to do something similar to what I did. But I think the option to like go out at least like, you know, like a couple times a year, if you want, it's <laughs> great. Yeah, for yeah. sure. What, uh, did you do all the dance or were you just specialized in a few different? Um, so we like, I, I did like some like jazz, a little bit of hip hop, some tap, but mainly, uh, we were modern dance and ballet. So I did my Royal Academy of Dance syllabus, which is like, like a prescribed, thing grades yeah. every exams uh and then and then the it was a modern dance school yeah okay okay can yeah. you still can you st like like if the right music came on could you still do the dance yeah I, I mean probably I'm like way out of shape for it like I another thing too like like I, I knew that I didn't want to be a professional dancer I love I love moving and I love dance yeah. but it's 
it's a, you know, I, I think it's an even tougher career than like, oh, yeah. it's, it's hard. And, and I, I just don't have like, my skeleton is not built for it. Like, <laughs> I, have, like <laughs> I have like tendonitis in my shoulders and my ankles. I have scoliosis, oh, wow. in my back. you know, like, it's just not, I, I can't, I couldn't do that professionally. Um, well, but, it does yeah. beat you up. Yeah, it does. But like, I love to move and like, I, 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 now that, you know, things are starting to open up again, like I'd love to like go back to class just for fun. Yeah. Not, for, not to like for any like. Well, you should do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I would like to definitely. Yeah. So what was, once you got to Toronto, what was your first paying gig? Oh, um, well, technically I did some like background work while I was in yeah. school, like just okay. over the course. Um, I couldn't, while I was like, when school was in, I was there like 12 hours a day, six days a week. So you can't really do anything outside of that. But in the summers, I, I did some background work that paid, I did some like photo double work as well, which is right. uh, like if, um, you know, the lead has a shot of like their hand, like picking up a glass and they're not, they don't have time to get that with the actor. They they'll bring in a double and just like do that. Oh um, yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a really great experience, uh, like a, a really great learning experience because it was my first time on a set, like, like, like a real big, like network production. Um, we working with second or sorry, um, second unit so so little bit of a smaller crew but you're still like in the studio working on camera like and for me like learning how to like be on camera it's so like it's it's so technical um so learning get or like at least like getting like an idea of what that's like in an environment like that was awesome because it was like this is this is like it was just us, the photo doubles. Like, this is your thing. You're doing it. Um, a good way to get into it, I think. Yeah, because there's a little yeah. less pressure. You know, you don't have as many people there working, you, but you're still on the set. Exactly. You don't have any lines. So that, like, it's it, it, it's like, like, you don't have to worry about getting a good performance. It's literally just, like, learning about, like, being in frame. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> like parts and, and different, you know. Um, so that was like my first paid, like actual first paid stuff. Yeah. I when I finished school, um, my first paid like TV show was a show called Slasher, produced by yeah. Shaftesbury here in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. But I've, uh, my so I, before before I interview somebody, I always go around to all the kids. And play the where do you know this person from? Uh huh. Yeah. So three of the four, three of the four new slasher. Oh like, yeah. Slasher, she's awesome. Oh my god. She's awesome in slasher. Amazing. <laughs> <Okay, thanks>. um, <laughs> so is and they they were like Cassidy. It's Cassidy. It's Cassidy. They knew. <laughs> yeah, Cassidy. Yeah, she. I, yeah, def, she was definitely a fan favorite, but uh, went down pretty quickly, yeah. as, as she should, you know, <laughs> if, I don't know if you've seen it, but she's pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I, got, I went back and watched them, and, and yeah. they, you, you did a terrific job with it. You yeah. had like, a, it's like a pink hair, pink highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were extensions, cool. but yeah. Oh, nice. It was great. It was great. I loved that look. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's, she it's was kind of rough as a character. She was kind of rough. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, I mean, so fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it had to be. Yeah. Oh my God. It's amazing. Yeah. It was great. Um, so yeah, that was, and I had done like, I had done a couple of, I did like a couple, like a, a do you know, the fringe festival. Yes. Yeah. So I, I did a fringe show the summer after I finished school. And then I did a little short film for the Canadian Film Center for one of their directors. Um, nice. And then I, 
oh, you know what? I just remembered Slasher wasn't my first, oh geez. So before, okay, so before Slasher, uh -oh. I, right before, <laughs> no, I shot a film that hasn't been released. So I kind of like skip over it mentally. Was it called Dark Forest? No, but that's another story that we- Oh, <laughs> okay, you, yeah, we gotta talk about that. that was okay. In okay. Um, uh, no, so no, I, I shot another film like that, the, I guess like March of 2018 okay. called Manor. Um, oh, right. Okay. Okay. On like IMDb, but it hasn't gotten a release. I don't know if they're planning on like releasing it independently or, or you whatever. You think that so, was like, partly due to COVID or were there other factors? I think, I think there were other factors. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know for sure. I know that that team like has a lot going on. Yeah. Um, what's the genre? It's, uh, it's like, I would say like thriller kind of, kind of horror, horror elements, but like thriller there's, it's a mystery. Okay. I, um, I probably like yeah. that. Yeah, I know there's, you played Zoe. Is that wrong? Oh, in Campton Manor. Yes. <laughs> so it's, oh my God. It's like, I, I was trying to think of another project where I was a character mm -hmm. named Zoe. Uh, yes, her name was Zoe. Yes. That feels like so long ago now. Um, it's because we set out a whole year. It just that, you know, last year took like three years to get through. I know. I know. Yes. That, I mean, that was, we shot that almost four years ago now. Yeah, that's crazy. Wild. I hope it gets out there. I know. I've seen some footage. I've done ADR for it. So I, I've yeah. seen some of it in post. Um, and it looks good. I mean, the cast was great. Our director was great. Um, you know how I, that goes. It'll make the, it'll, it'll get out there. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like also now with so many, there's so many streaming services and options yeah. for release that, uh, Yeah. Is that hard as a as an actress? Is that hard when you when you put a lot into a project and then it takes so long sometimes to get it out? Yeah, it's it's interesting as an actor. I mean, in that way, but also in that like, like you go and you do your work and then you leave. And then the the rest of the show is built like that and 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 so like sometimes the show that you have envisioned like comes out different than what you yeah. thought and it's weird like in theater you you go and and you build it in rehearsal and then you go and you do it every night and that's what it is and you're in it as it's happening Right. And, 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 and that's what it is. And then in film, you, you do it and you're just, you're like one cog in the wheel of, of the show and everyone else does their part and everything like down to like editing and like music. And sometimes I'll, I'll watch stuff and I'm like, Oh, that's the take we went with. Yep. I wouldn't have picked that performance from myself, but it's your show, you know, that's like, right. like, at the that's end what of you the want. Day, at, yeah, at the end of the day, it's it's not yours. Right. Um, yeah, it's yeah. interesting. I think I'd have trouble with that because by the time some of it comes out, like like with the uh, uh, Campton Manor, mm -hmm. it it's been four years. I mean, you're a completely different person by that time. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's so it's so interesting, but it's also like an interesting little time capsule. Yeah. <laughs> of of, of that moment um yeah I don't know I've, I've, been, I've been thinking of that about that in terms of like like film work a lot and I feel like that's why I mean so many actors love to make their own work and so many sure. actors at a certain level like are are executive producers on like every project they do because it would just give you that much more that much more like input right yeah, that it makes sense. So what's yeah. the what's the dark forest story? Uh so dark forest is a film that I did uh 
in Winnipeg before I moved here, like the okay. summer before I moved. Non-union, never got paid. Uh-huh. Um, One of those experience films. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, and it was just, I mean, you can rent it and watch it. Um, I, I was cast, so they had shot most of the film like a year before, I think. And then they decided that they wanted to add in like a secondary storyline or they got some more money or, I, or I, I don't know, maybe it was just a narrative choice. Um, so then they cast me and uh, three other people to like shoot a little bit. So I think, I mean, I think we did it over like two or three days. Um, wow, that's fast. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's not very much. Like, like I'm not like, you know, it's it pretty simple to get. Um, so yeah, we just play this, this group of like friends who go out into a forest and then there's a killer on the loose. <laughs> was I, it you? Were you the killer? I wish I was the killer. <laughs> I, um, I have two copies of it on DVD. If you want, I can send you one because I don't have a DVD player. You uh, lost it. Yeah, it was... It was uh, it was an experience. <laughs> there there are um, yeah. I would just encourage you to like Google it. And we'll find it. Reviews. Yeah, and we'll and we'll find it. We'll find it. You've uh, you've made it. Um, you've you've piqued my curiosity at least. Yeah, yeah. I. <laughs> uh, so I told you. Three of the four kids knew you from Slasher. So mm-hmm. my oldest, she won't, she's not watching. Any anything that that start is named Slasher, she's out. Yeah, she's not fair. that's not for her. And but, it's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of it now. So so she made the right choice. Knowing her, she made the right choice. Yeah. But she said you did a Christmas movie. I was in a Christmas movie called Let It Snow. Yes. Which is like a really lovely like family friendly wholesome that's her that's her movie. yeah it, that one was so fun it was one of those ones where I think I shot for like six weeks but if you watch it I'm in it for like like a second um <laughs> but so many of the scenes were set in one diner right. that everyone was just always there so it was the best like I was working I was on like a dance team with these other amazing girls and we all got really really close so it's just like hanging out with your friends that's actually pretty cool did you get to dance yeah yeah so we had a dance number that ended up getting cut oh no so hard on it and we shot you need to get together and like do it for TikTok or Instagram or something. Oh my God. Yeah. We're, I mean, we're all kind of scattered right now, but that would be fun. We've been able to have like a couple little reunions, but obviously nothing since COVID. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we, we worked on that number so hard and like, apparently everyone loved it. It looked amazing uh, when we shot it, but it just didn't really work like in the context of the film, right. you know, the song. Uh, it was to uh, Juice by Lizzo. Oh, but it was a right. sped up version. It was crazy. It was like it doesn't. That doesn't sound. I was expecting a Christmas song. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I don't. I feel like there probably were some Christmas songs in it, like in the soundtrack, but but not uh, not for us because because it was it was supposed to be at a party. Like we have a oh, party okay. diner, and then like someone puts on the song and we do it. It was so much fun, and the cast was great. Like it was just a big big beautiful ensemble yeah that sounds pretty good yeah so, okay so so for me and we got to talk we got to talk chapel weight because now it's <laughs> far enough we can if we give spoilers it won't mess it up but yeah. for me first time i saw you on camera was uh jupiter's legacy oh yeah 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 love yeah, yeah. such yeah that was fun. i'm a i'm a comic book guy so yeah. i had read the comics 
So then I, I, I saw you on there. So it was an underrated show. I, th- I, I love the show and it didn't do nearly as well as I thought it was going. To. I know. I, I love the show too. And I loved shooting that. Um, yeah, it was, it was funny because like at the time I thought that it was one of like Netflix's most watched it Thanks. was. Like, I didn't make it. It made that. no sense to me when they said there wasn't going to be a new season. Yeah, I don't know. But didn't they also say that they wanted to, like, within that Mark Miller? Mark Miller. Bizarre, yeah. Miller, with, within his world, like, they wanted to develop something based on, like, the villains. Yes, they did. Yeah. So they wanted to go in that direction rather than continue yeah. Jupiter's legacy direction. I don't know. I think it's a great like really compelling story. Have you read any of the books or the comics? The first one. Yeah. 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 But I also think that like, I can, I can imagine that it it would be really hard. Like, I feel, I feel like the the market is so saturated with superhero stories. There's a lot of stuff out there. But it must be tough to, to, you know, develop one that, I don't know, sticks. Yeah, well, yeah, because because yeah. it, it'd probably be difficult to differentiate it, you know. Yeah. You the, 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 yeah. The watch. Yeah, like like of course, like comic book comic book fans and like to people involved with the show, like we're like, oh, of course, like this is a unique story and it's like really compelling right. and and worth watching. Hope but to I get the the uh, no average idea. fan or the average watcher out there. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. To, yeah. To, I don't know. I would guess. That's- Great show, beautiful show. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That was well, really- so talk about your role. What, who did you play on the show? Uh, on Jupiter's Legacy, I played, well, I played a set of twins. That's what um, I thought. Yeah. Margaret and Mary Rinsdale, but only one of them had lines. So they told me that they didn't want to cast a set of real twins because they didn't want to like cast a set of twins and be like, okay, but one of you is actually just like silent on camera. <laughs> so... Well, it makes sense. That's 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 very nice. Of them. Yeah, I like fair enough. Um, <laughs> so so they cast me, and I did both. I mean, I I, I, I mainly only was the one. The other one was, yeah. like I said, silent on camera. Um, super super posh, uh, entitled, yeah. fun young yeah, lady. You did a good job with it. Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. Um, I would have loved to do more with that because because they talk about in the show they're like you guys like burn down this boat and I was like wait what can we do that like, yeah, I yeah let's show off. that <laughs> yeah 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 but it was a it was a great scene I, I also love that period like yeah. the costumes and the makeup the wigs like I don't know if you could tell but I'm wearing a wig in that show and it is like the most Can't beautiful tell beautiful way did you get to keep any of that no no yeah, that's, see i think see okay now i'm gonna run this by you i've, I've brought this <laughs> up a couple of times on podcast this this is this is how I'm, I'm breaking into the world of entertainment okay right so you've already got your people you've got you know publicist agent manager whatever it is so but i'm gonna be specialized i'm gonna be like the agent that goes in and negotiates all the nonsense stuff after you already got the job i'm gonna go in okay be like okay she needs this costume so yes. she can work for halloween stuff yes. like that oh my god That's please i would you're hired yeah there please. you go i would love that That's I it. i'm just like the just the stupid stuff yeah that nobody <laughs> thinks about that but then after you're like oh, i wish i had that the stupid fun stuff the fun stuff yeah yeah i feel like um on shows like where 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 you're a bigger part, that might be more negotiable. But you know, I I wasn't there long enough to be like, hey, can I have this like really valuable vintage dress? Why? That's why that you need me. from a costume house in Paris. <laughs> like, <please. laughs> I guess I might have been able to buy it, but like, I I'm not gonna do that. Be like that. And my guy, he is terrible at getting me jobs. But once I get the job, I get the best costumes. Yeah. No, it's not your job to get the job. It's your job to, like, get the fun stuff. That's right. I'm just going to oh, make it better. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not even, and there's no money. Like, I will talk no money with anybody. <laughs> I was like, that's not my job. No, no. Pass them along to the money. <laughs> 
So we have to talk chapel weight. Mm-hmm. Right. So I had um, Jennifer on Jennifer. In. I just saw. Yeah. Didn't that that just drop today? It dropped yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. I literally just saw it at, right before we were coming. Yeah. To chat. What'd you think? Oh, oh sorry. I, I saw that. Oh, uh, you saw it came out. I haven't been able to listen to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah. it's great. So she, she, oh, she's she's terrific. She she was the the best. But mm. I was still I was trying to hold back a little bit because when we did the interview, you know, I didn't want to give away everything. Right. Okay. But it's yeah. been out for a while now. Enough time has passed. Enough time has passed. So if we if we give away a spoiler, then tough luck. People can skip ahead. And skip ahead because it's on them. They should have watched by now. It's yeah. such a good show. I think after a month and a half, we can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. What What do you need? What do you need to know? Yeah. So okay. <laughs> so okay. So here we go. So so your character did she have a name? No. Yeah. They they were it's like it was just like Apple Girl. She renounced her name, so she doesn't oh. have to name because. The ac- Jacob's acolytes renounce their names like okay. in service of their God, basically. Yeah. So yeah, like it, it, it does look a little silly in the credits, but like how did they pitch that to you when they said like, no, no, you're you're not gonna have a name. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're gonna have an always, apple. Well, <laughs> the character was always called. Apple Girl, like from the first yeah. breakdown of the first audition. And then when I talked to Peter and Jason, the creators of the show about it, they basically explained it to me that way. I was, cause, cause also I was like, okay, guys, can you, can you like tell me about this world that we're in? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, absolutely. And they, you know, they like, they're amazing. And so we talked about it and then they, they, they talked about, you know, like none of us, none of those acolytes would have names. I mean, Jacob has a name, but he's, he's the, the he's boss. the leader. Yeah. Yeah. He's the leader. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense to me. What do you think her name would be if she had a name? Oh, I think I had, I, I, I thought of, I, I decided on one actually, what her name was before she was it Viv? It was not Viv. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was something, I don't know, it was something Victorian. Uh, it, it's, it, I didn't, I don't remember because that, um, I feel like that was not important for that character at all. She's like, so, so. I mean, you didn't call her something in your own head. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and, and she's like, but she's so in, like, with, with Jacob that, like, she doesn't, she doesn't have a name. Yeah. Like in her own mind, like she doesn't. He was such a tragic figure. You know, for me, I I I did. Cause she, okay. So, so, so I'm watching. Yeah. So creepy. You were so creepy when you're first coming on there, you know, it's just like, Oh, I I don't know about that's, that's, she's very creepy. It's It's very scary, very scary, very tense. But then she's like, she's working the whole show to become a vampire basically. Mm-hmm. And then she's gone. I know. Like immediately. I was like, I tragic. I, tragic. I, I think, I think she's a tragic figure too. Um, and really I like, felt bad for. Her. Yeah. I, I, I really, you know, originally that character was supposed to be in like three episodes. And then when I auditioned, she was supposed to be in six. And then I ended up getting nine, which is amazing. That was the right choice from them. I agree. And, 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 you know, like, I always think you could go like further with everything, right? Like if, if you have more time, you know, possibilities are endless. Uh, But, but, but she was like really given a chance to like, especially toward the end, like, like you really get to see a little bit more than just like her, like, like posturing. Right. Right. Like well, you get to see her. like some of what was driving her, yeah. her uh, wants and ambitions, that type of thing. Yeah, which I was really, I was really like grateful for because it, it you know, it, it, it's, it's just makes the character that much more dynamic for the audience. Yeah. yeah. You had the, I thought you had the best, like you gave away a lot without saying anything. I thought you had the best looks, you know, cool. like terrifying looks. Yeah. You know, like that. <laughs> 
that chick's crazy. Is what I would mess with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so fun. I also loved that she like. There's so many scenes where she just like like makes people murder people for her. Like she doesn't yeah. ever do it herself. She just like is like go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's no. there's, a, there's a lot of power in that. Did, did have you used one of those stairs on anybody in your your regular life? <laughs> like when you're upset. Uh, I'm I'm sure I have. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm out. I've seen this. I'm, I, I'm out. I definitely have like as a bit. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure I have seriously. Too. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can, you can say a lot without saying anything. Yeah. You right? can. Yeah. You did yeah, a really good job with that. Although I preferred the speaking parts, but yeah, you had a few where you were just kind of there. And it's just terrifying. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. It was, it was really, I mean, it was just amazing to like watch it and like see all of those parts come together. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a beautiful show. Did Stephen King ever come on set? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of, but it was COVID, right? Like we were. Oh, it was, we were, yes. We were filming in, in Nova Scotia, which like they were part of the Atlantic bubble. So yeah. to come in, you had to quarantine for two weeks, which was great because it kept it like super safe. That's right. And, it was, and coming from Toronto, it was like such a, an amazing little break right. from, from the city and from like the intensity of COVID because they took it really, really seriously, but their case numbers were just so low that that you were like like it was great that they were taking that seriously but the the risk was just not as high just just by being there yeah great. well yeah yeah well that's good that's good yeah, yeah if you're going to be in close quarters with people you definitely yeah, want it. yeah. It was i know it's going to so beautiful yeah it's just stunning i love it i want to move there <laughs> yeah it, it was it was beautiful to watch and it looked like like you felt like you were back in time in that period. Yeah. yeah, it's it's so yeah, the moodiness. Oh my god, it's so beautifully shot. It was amazing. I was like, wow, I was I was there when they were filming that. <laughs> that is so cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Don't you think we need an Apple Girl spinoff? I think so. I think so we, like a mini series. Yeah, a mini series. Or or like a like a like an origin story. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, like was she a good person that something happened to her and right. she became kind of bad, or was she, she always kind there? of a bad person? Yeah, how did she get there? Totally. Yeah, how did she meet Jacob? Or even, I mean, we could do a Jacob origin story too. Yeah. Well, I, so are we going to get a season two? Yeah, because I mean it's tough because. Yeah. At the, you know the ending. I won't give away the exact ending, but the ending, you know, it could have that could have been an ending. It could have been. It, I think it could go either way, yeah. and I and I don't know. Um, I don't know if if there was a season two, if it would pick up where it ended, or if maybe they would like go It'd be like a prequel. Good. Yeah, I, I I don't know. Um, season two okay. though, you could do. Some you could reappear as you know, like flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. I also I'm like, yeah, she dies, but like we could play it as though she survived because they just, we could final cut like like it, it doesn't cut to like oh she's dead yeah right she kind of goes down so I don't know you could still be there Peter and Jason you hear that just. Make alive. I'll make some calls. I got I got to talk to him anyway about the costume stuff. So uh, right, I'll, I'll bring right. it up. Of course, of course, yeah. I'm like we're in for season two and or a spinoff, mm -hmm. but here are our demands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. I mean, that was just so fun. Like, just the best. Was a terrific cast. Yeah, terrific cast. Crew is awesome. Everyone in Nova Scotia is great. Like, it was it was awesome. 
Yeah. I, I didn't get to spend as much time with some of the cast as I would have liked because like all my scenes, like I don't have any scenes like with the townspeople or like, you know, <laughs> so, so, so I definitely didn't, uh, didn't get as much time with like some of the other actors as I would have liked, but um, got some and it was amazing. Yeah. And you know, season two would, uh, would do more. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's put it out there. Cause yeah. maybe that'll, you know, manifest it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was just, it was, it was so well written. Cause you know, I, I grew up with a lot of Stephen King adaptions and they were kind of mm. hit and miss. Some of them were done mm. pretty well. Some of them not, not too great. This yes. one's probably my favorite. I thought that was yeah. just excellent. Yes, it was so good. I I really think so too. I mean, I'm biased, but yeah. but I, I really think it's just and it's also it was I don't know. Yeah, like I was saying, like it, it was so cool to like watch it and be like, wow, like yeah. I was there when that was being made. <laughs> now it's a real show. And and I don't know. It's 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 did it's, you watch them as they were coming out? Um, like a little. Yeah. I, I didn't, you didn't, I didn't get together with the parents and stuff and watch. No, my parents are in Winnipeg. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, I guess you have to fly back. If, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going uh, over the holidays for the first time since oh, COVID. It's a very bingeable um, show. It's a very bingeable show. Yeah. My dad is, I think my mom's been watching it, but my dad, my dad watched like some with a few of his friends yeah. and then he is like, it's really scary. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is. It's very uh, scary. Yeah. So, 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 but now it's on in Canada, it's on Crave, our streaming service, like one of our streaming services. Nice. It's like fast forward for him and like be like, well, there you watch. go. There you go. Yeah. I was watching on uh, Epics. It was on Epics. Yes. Yes. And, and we don't have Epics in Canada. So we were, it was airing That's on. One of our, I know. Yeah. But we were, it was airing on one of our, uh, on CTV, which is like a TV channel, and then they put it on Crave, which is great. It's, I mean, it's great to just have it. It's Pretty so awesome. accessible. Yeah. Did you get a like a rap party? Did you get to get together with everybody and celebrate? We didn't really. Um, we didn't have a rap party because of COVID. We did have uh, so Gord Gord Rand, who played Minister Burroughs. Yes. Uh, he had a birthday in December. <laughs> so we had a bit of a birthday party for him. That's nice. Um, it was so fun. Um, but, but but that was like the closest that we got. Yeah. But that was a really fun night. It's like much, a lot of wine was consumed. <laughs> a lot of, <laughs> a lot of yeah. yeah, it was great. And that was the first time I, I met some of the cast, like Allegra who plays um, Emily's mother. Yes. Oh, and Eric Peterson, who plays uh, Samuel Gallup. Yeah, um, yeah, he's really like, good. It, amazing. They're both amazing. And they were there the whole time, but we had never even been on set on the same day. Yeah, so weird. So that was that was nice. Uh, in yeah, that that's way. pretty good. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. So if if Apple Girl was a dancer, what would be her dance? <laughs> I mean, I feel like she's got to be a like a a modern dancer or maybe contemporary. Uh, I feel like she kind of does her own thing. Would she be an angry dancer? Um, she definitely could be. <laughs> I think I think it would depend on her mood. <laughs> but she definitely, I think, she, I think there's definitely some anger in there that could be uh, expressed through movement. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. I'm, there's some ideas there. You could totally do a Halloween show. Yeah. Oh my god. You just do Apple Girl and just put. You should do a YouTube channel About. and just put her in. <laughs> yes, put her in different skits. But do you think that that would be? I wonder if that would be like, like copyright infringement. Well, I you need know. to. You'd have to get permission. I, yeah. 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 But how it, great it, would that be? You have you have like Apple Apple Girl at the local coffee shop, just kind of standing and. You know, mean mugging the the people oh, making the coffee. Yeah. 
<laughs> selfie in the corner or like like trying to chat someone up and like terrifying them in a yes or, or like she could do the uh speed dating <laughs> i should be writing these down that's good <laughs> this would be a really good youtube channel speed dating oh my god those poor people i would be the best yeah. You know, and you, you got the, you know, the uh, poor guys coming through and they're like, so what's your name? And, what's mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're just in character. Yeah, I have no name. Yeah. Like, oh. Now it's my name. <laughs> your God, my God's older than yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You totally would have to like throw Jacob in, but in a very like, awkward way so that the the guy would just be like what <laughs> yeah like is is jacob like your your boss or your husband <laughs> your cult leader i mean he is a cult leader there's there is something there yeah yeah oh my god maybe i could have chris on christopher Haredell, who plays jacob yes oh my gosh talk about scary Oh, he's so good. Yeah, he's, he's really so good. good. Yeah, he's, you know, I feel like every job I do, obviously, like I learn so much. <laughs> but, but there are some actors who you work with, like these veteran actors, like Chris and Adrian, um, who like every time you're you're with them, I, I'm, I'm just like trying to like absorb as They're much the as real I, deal. The real deal, yeah. Everything to just like how you, how, how you like, like conduct yourself on set because like even that like goes into your performance, the ways that like you use your energy. Um, yeah. Well, that's They're, smart. That's yeah, that's deal. smart. You both, should absorb that. Yeah, both like great, great, were really great to me. And I, you know, got to, got to like chat with in really nice ways and yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Very, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That's pretty good. I, I would probably be intimidated. I'd bug the crap out of Adrian Brody. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd probably, you know, I, that's why I don't act. I get, I'm too much of a fan. <laughs> you know, I just bug him. Uh -huh. hey, what are you doing, Adrian? What are you, yeah. Hang out. I, I always try to go like the chill route. Yeah. I have no chill. Adrian, Adrian and I bonded over our like like painful skeletons. Like when he was like, my knee's hurting. And I was like, oh man, like I have like tendonitis in my shoulder. And he's like, oh my God, me too. Like I have this back pain. I gave him um some Voltaren, which is this like amazing like muscle. Yeah. Cream. And he was so amazed that I had it because apparently in the States, it's like a prescription thing, but here you can buy it over the counter. Oh, nice. You, you had know, your moment. Yeah. Just little things. To put over. <laughs> yeah. The 30 years from now, when you run into it, you can remind him, I'd be like, I was the one that gave you the muscle cream. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. I mean, I think I've convinced him to let me uh, like stay at uh, his farm in New York. So <laughs> if he ever needs a, a farm sitter, so that's pretty great. I know it's not too far from me. Really? Toronto, well, Toronto and New York are pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. are. They are. It's about an eight hour drive for me. So give me a little heads up so I can come. Yeah, visit. okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sure there's room. I'll hit the road. I'm sure it's a farm. It has to yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh my gosh, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, you have to come back. I would I might, love to. I might just have you can you come back and you can you can interview me. Okay. I would love to reverse it. This is such a yeah, such a pleasure. I'm so glad that we got to that we got to do this. You survived your first podcast. Survived. I thrived. You, some would say you thrived. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was great. It was great. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to listen. I was listening to one of your episodes earlier today. The Who was it? Not the one with Jen, the one that was out right before that. Um, let me pull it up. Allie, oh, maybe? Yeah. 
Yeah. Like she's um, a um, she's a Canadian singer. She's a for living in Nashville, but she's from amazing. Canada. Which um, I was really amazed because she has a very southern accent, which uh-huh. you know is kind of similar to mine, but she's from Canada. How long has she lived in Nashville? She's been there a while, but yeah. she said she grew up with the accent. Oh, really? I mean, there are like there are different accents depending on where you go in Canada. But I, I definitely think that I like like when you move and you live somewhere for a while you uh your sound like does kind of change like my sound is my accent has definitely changed since leaving the prairies um i definitely have less less of a prairie accent now the more of a generic like yeah. toronto whatever i don't really detect an accent with you like like yeah. i know i have an accent but i, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I, I definitely, yeah, I have a pretty straight. I also, I wonder if it's because I went to theater school and like have like worked on that kind of stuff. Yeah. And like so many auditions call for just like general American. So when you're right. used to kind of like adjusting those sounds, it kind of like sticks in you or in me at least. Yeah. I don't know. I think you would fit. We need, how about a West Virginian like I don't know. You'd have to do a West Virginia accent, but you're maybe your coal miner's daughter solving crime. Oh, accidentally. Accident <laughs> Stumb- <laughs> stumbles upon a crime and then cannot rest until it's solved. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I would love that. I would love to. Oh, it'd be so fun to do like a mystery show. Yeah. yeah or like Workshop a detective. That. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For next time, I'll you bring some. You can do a lady head. detective. I, th- I think so. Yeah. I definitely think so. I'd Maybe watch that. that. That'd be so fun. All right. So I got, okay, two things before you go. Yeah. First one. First one's easy. Um, where can we find you on social media? Um, I'm on Instagram at VivDG. So V-I-V-D-G. Um, I have Twitter at G to Graves, but I'm not really on it that much, but I do yeah. have it. But Instagram is what I'm most active on. Yeah. Yeah. And I found you on there. I And actually, yeah. now that I think about when I first found you, found you, I was like, I wonder what the Viv is about. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now I know. So it's, been my, it's been my Instagram handle forever and I've like considered changing it. No, you should keep that. Yeah. And also like if someone were to search my name, I'd come up anyways. Right. So it doesn't. Yeah. 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 And that's what it did. That's what it did. Okay. Yeah. So, so here, here's the last one. If, if you're willing, this is, this is, I'm going to get you to say something. So here it is. So you just say your name. Say you're watching Too Opinionated. This is you're watching Too Opinionated. Okay, I'll say it. All right, right, whenever you're ready. Okay. This is Genevieve de Graves, and you're watching Too Opinionated. Yeah, I just wanted you to say the name because I love the way you say your name. Oh, Oh, you tricked me. <laughs> All right, now, okay, now the say the do the same thing, but you do it as Apple Girl. This is Genevieve de Graves, and you're watching Too Opinionated. Well, it's terrifying. I was wondering how you were going to get past the name part of it. Yeah, I. <laughs> They're just words. You just say uh, them. <laughs> yeah, you're. Uh, it kind of gives me. It gives me chills, and not in a good way. It's. Ooh. Well, I guess that's that means I'm doing my job. I mean, have you ever had somebody tell you that that character to me? That's a that's a nightmare type of character. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Even when I was watching it, I was like, like a couple times, like in uh, in episode six, when spoiler alert, uh, Faith, we kill Faith. Yes. Take the baby. I was like, and that was a scene that was added in. It was like in the script and then they cut it because they didn't think they'd have, to, they'd have time to shoot it and they added it in later. And so we shot it like like after we had finished with episode six. Um, but but it, it, it felt like, like uh, not rushed, but like, like we kind of like did it on the fly. Um, uh, but, but watching it back, I was like, 
oh my god like that's one of the scariest moments in the show like for it, me like, oh, yeah, it was as apple girl like for apple girl like what the hell <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we got to get her back. I know. Yeah, we do. We well, do. when you talk to them, if if they're not willing to do another season, then say, "Well, any harm in me doing a YouTube channel?" Yeah. Can I just get the rights and I'll just yeah. I'll just do it? Yeah. The people want it. I'm t- yes. I'm telling you that YouTube channel would we'd have a million followers. That would be so fun. Because <laughs> you can just travel around just to random places. She mm-hmm. does. You know, maybe like a local high school. Mm-hmm. She could be the one, she could be uh, serving lunch. <laughs> she could be serving lunch. She could be like a, like a teacher's assistant. Yes. Oh, yes. That would be funny. I'm, on, I'm in. This I don't is, think she's this is be a allowed YouTube. to be around children, but no, we'll we'll work. Well, yeah. In my first, my first thought was elementary school, but then I was like, no, nah, no, nah, she probably yeah, so no. high school though. It's a little older. Yeah, high school might be okay. That might be okay, or maybe a fast food restaurant. And you're working the drive thru Apple Girl would never. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> She, she, I don't even know if she'd make it through a shift. Oh, well, there's no way. Yeah. Oh gosh. We have to make this happen. Oh, I'm oh, going to be so it. disappointed if this doesn't happen. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll discuss next time. I'll come okay, we'll see you with some ideas. All right. I'll shut up about it. We'll, we'll work on put it. Put it on the okay. back, back burner for now. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Give me something to work All right. On. Well, thank you so much for doing this. This has been, I knew it was going to be good. I'm so glad you hung in there with yeah, me. So of course. You. Oh my God. Of course. Yeah. It was so, it was so wonderful to connect and to chat. And I hope yeah. that, you know, everything's good with your, with your dad. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dad's doing great. Thank you for asking. You know what I liked about, this is what I liked about you right off the bat is mm-hmm. I was talking with your people and you you responded like directly. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really nice. Most people don't do that. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's so I'm nice. <laughs> You're just really very nice. nice. Yeah, we're really yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it was. But yeah, no, of course. I'm I'm glad that you know worked out and yeah, that all too. is well. Yeah, all is well. Okay, hold on one second. Let's find the pause button. Happy birthday, Charlie. <laughs> How wonderful was that? She was absolutely terrific and so nice. I, I, I can't believe how nice she was. So, you know, my uh, those that, that listen all the time know my, my father had a, had a spill and uh, gave us a scare, you know, got... Uh, banged his head a little bit, turned out to be okay. He's recovering, but he's fine. Um, but it happened the day that, uh, that we were doing the interview. So we had to reschedule and she was just the best about that. And then today we were initially going to do it a few hours later, had to help dad with some stuff. She was so nice to, to move that earlier. So just uh, absolutely the best. If you haven't watched Chapel Wait, do yourself a favor and check it out. She is amazing in it. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So that was that was so much fun. We'll definitely have her have her back on. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I think I, I think I hit everything that uh, that I wanted to talk to her about. We're going to see her in so many, so many other things. She's just just an amazing actress. So, so, so good. Um, thank you guys for tuning in again with us, you know, I, I can't believe that we're now past 300 episodes. You know, we've, we've probably done 325 or so. We haven't released all of them, but it's just amazing to me that three years in, we're still going strong and that's all thanks to you guys. So, so just thank you. Thank you so much. If you haven't done so yet, please help us by going to our YouTube channel, Meistercon Pod and subscribing it would be a, just a huge help to us. You can find all 300 plus episodes, audio and video on our website, meistercon.com. 
terrific blog from Brett is on there as well. It's geeky, it's fun, it's well written. You know, if we're doing anything in studio, we'll have that on there. If we're doing any uh, conventions or maybe visiting Adrian Brody's farm, that'll be on there. So you can find all of that, meistercon.com. Thank you guys. Until next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>